Bowman here from BW1.com where we're going to do an unboxing, hands-on, and first impressions look at the Lenovo ThinkPad tablet. Alright, so Lenovo didn't want to be left out of the tablet market. They did come up with their own ThinkPad tablet that we saw a few months ago at the Lenovo, Lenovo event. And um, we finally got one here to do a review on, so we're going to head and start off with the unboxing here. Slice up this tape here on the side. Keys, hopefully it'll come off easily. There we go. I really shouldn't use my keys, but yeah. it's the closest sharp thing to me. There we go. All right. See it from there. Slide it out here. All right. So we have here inside these different boxes. Back inside here. Alright, that's the return label to return back the review unit when done. <laughs> this is your uh, manual guide and instructions here. You have your, this is your wall adapter here for charging. USB cable right there. And you have the ThinkPad stylus that has a battery inside of it there and a little wrist strap. You can see there. Box right. that up. Put that over here. Here's the tablet here itself. Well, it looks like this has been reviewed before. Let's right, see so what we have underneath here. It looks like just some, just some flyers and stuff like that. Stuff for me to read off on later while I'm reviewing it. All right, looks like it didn't, it was opened up before. Figured it would be, and it's already turned on, so they didn't turn it off, whoever reviewed it last. So all right, we'll still slide out the packaging here. Take a look at here the device here itself. It, it does have a 10.1 inch display. It's gonna be really, it's a really really nice display to definitely check out. It does come with 16 gigabytes of internal storage, a one gigahertz Nvidia Tegra tool dual core processor, and also comes with uh, one gigabyte of RAM. All right, just the stylus holder there on this side. Taking another tour around here, you can see the volume buttons here. Uh, right here on the side, you have the looks like you have a proprietary dot connection there. You have your my micro USB port, you have your HDMI right behind this battery door here is the uh, full micro SD card slot and this looks like another full um, SD card slot and this looks like this is a mini or uh, mini or micro SD card slot sitting right there cool you have your um, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on this side you have the power button on the back you have a rear facing camera that I believe is 5 megapixels and it can record 720p video and um, you have your physical menu buttons here. It looks like you have a rotation button here. Looks like the globe is for the web, back, and then home right there. You have, it looks like you have another front facing camera here. This should be a VGA front facing camera, I believe, for video chat. And any of the specs that I get incorrect there will definitely be uh, proper within the uh, video notes below. So definitely check that out. We'll power it on here. As you can see there, put it up. And it is running Android 3.1 Honeycomb. And it's running it, so this Lenovo UI on top of it to make it a little easier to get around. So you can see how this little um, sort of the center here for to get to quick access things such as watch, email, listen, read. You know, you can customize that around. App Drawer pretty much looks like the same as you would expect. You can shop for more apps. But I um, have to add an account, of course, which I'm going to do a little bit later. And so far, things are pretty smooth. We'll open that up there. You get this little sort of side view here for multitasking. It's pretty nice to have that. And you can open up Kindle if you wanted to. One of the other cool things is you have the X next to it so you can close out of applications. Let's go ahead and X out. We'll hit home and this is open. We'll X out of there so it closes out of the application fully and kills it off. I did like that feature when I remember when I first got my hands on this. But overall, it's, it's a really nice to have. The display is really, really gorgeous to look at so far from, as, as far as I can tell from first impressions. I oh, didn't show you this here at the bottom. It's the full, uh, full USB port right here on the side. So. You have full, you can plug in a video game controller if you wanted to, or a flash drive of some sort, and use it right on here. You have a speaker also there as well. Close this up here like that. And um, we'll definitely give you our full review on this as well, too. It's, it's a little bit of a heavier tablet compared to the other ones out there. It's still light, but it's gonna you're going to notice the weight difference between this and many of the others here. But the screen is really gorgeous. The... Uh, I'm really interested in how this Lenovo UI is going to work so far. I, I kind of like the way it works right now, but we'll uh, give you a full review. We'll definitely use the stylus and give you an, um, give you our thoughts on it. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com. Reminding you, subscribe to our YouTube page. 
Follow us on Twitter, become a fan of our Facebook fan page, also circle us on Google+, and also subscribe to our RSS feeds. Check out our main website, the link to all of that mouthful of stuff is in the is in the description with the links and all the write-up for this as well too. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.